my name is Faber. Welcome to my channel. If you are here for the rest of this vlog, I'll put a timestamp right at the top of the description box below. Just click show more if you're on a certain device. If you don't see show more, you may see a little gray triangle. Click that and right in there will be the timestamp where the regular vlog begins. So thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to my channel. We are going to be starting this morning with a FabFitFun summer box. I'm very excited about seeing what's in here, but first, if you'll do me a favor, because that is actually my name, favor, and hit that subscribe button while you're here, I'd certainly appreciate it. We are primarily a vlogging channel. We do a little unboxing, a lot of travel, but as we're not traveling right now, we're just vlogging right now. So just a little bit of daily vlogs. This is the summer box. This box is $49.95. Um, you can get this box. I will leave it linked for you in the description box. If you use my link, you'll get $10 off your first box. Uh, you can use anybody's link. I think you can go straight to Fun and get that dis discount. Um, so you'll be able to choose some of your products. If you're brand new to FabFitFun, they are still shipping this box. So if you haven't ever ordered a box from FabFitFun, you will be able to pick some of the items that come in your box. You will still get a choice on some of the items. Um, there's also edit sales and add-on sales. FabFitFun runs them all the time where you can buy lifestyle, beauty, fitness, clothing, different luggage. It's sometimes I've seen furniture, different items on there at a discount. Um, they call it an edit sale, an add-on sale. There are some add-ons in this box where they will ship it with your box for free. So some of that's in here. Um, I am an annual subscriber, which means I pay for my box all at once. And that allows me to have a few more choices with my box each season. Okay, it also allows me first pick at the add-ons and the edit sales. If you're a seasonal subscriber, it means you pay for this box every season. You'll have fewer choice in selections and you won't have first dibs on, you know, the edit sales and the add-on sales. You know, there you go. You decide which you like better. So let me open this box. Excuse my hair today. We are going all natural. Um, I am not blow drying my hair. I'm really styling my hair a whole lot right now. And um, this is some new makeup from Beautylish and from um, uh, some old makeup too. Uh, you know when you find that makeup look that you just love and you just keep doing it over and over and over? That's what's happening here. Oh, and this is a new lippy. Oh my, lipstick. This, this quarantine has really sent me to the online shopping. So here is my little sticker that says add-ons. Ah. Oh, there's an R. Let's see, what does that mean? What is that? Must be my inspector. Okay, so let's do the add-ons very quickly, which are a little, a little squashed. That's okay. And then my summer box, all right, the Lash MD. Is that what this is? Lashes MD, this is an add-on. Um, it, I don't know how much it was. It's Lashes MD Eyelash Conditioner, Eyelash Eyebrow Conditioner. Uh, get the look you always wanted. I am using um, a lash, why can I never remember the name of it? And I'm almost through it. I've been using it for a while and I've noticed it's really stopped working. So I did just order one from Grande Lash and now we'll try this one too. So you know, I'll let you know in the in a vlog what I think of it. You know, usually you guys are the first to notice because my lashes are pretty long and you'll notice it. So, but I'll let you know. All right, this is, so, oh, is this part of the bag? No, okay, this was an add-on. No, this was a choice item. So when you make your choice in the box, if you see more than one item that you want in your box, you can actually add that item as well, as long as it's not sold out for usually $10, $7, $15, just depends. But it's still a big discount for the product. So I wanted this, as you know, maybe you don't, if you're new, first of all, welcome. Um, we travel a lot and we go to the beach a lot and this is almost like an after sun spray. I have a bunch of rose sprays that have come in these boxes. After a long, hard run, the rose sprays feel really good. Um, they feel really good on my skin. They're refreshing, they're cooling and that kind of thing. So I just thought this might be nice. This is Beach Mist Botanical After Sun Spray. You know, thought it might be nice in the fresh scent. So let's squirt this on my arm. We'll just. Mm. 
I don't really smell anything. Just Oh, that's going to be nice. It's soft, moisturizing, but not... Yeah, it sinks in. It's smooth. Oh, I'm going to love this. Uh, Brum de plage. You know, because I'm an expert at French or whatever language that is. I'm going to love this. Excellent. This was part of the add-ons. So, not add-ons. Of the additional items you could choose in your box. And last but not least, this is an add-on that I'm really excited about. And I should not have put lipstick on today. This is the Paragon MD No Makeup Lipstick. The last few add-on sales, this has sold out and I haven't gotten it. This was uh, $15, I think, and uh, I'm just really excited. Ah, how do you open this? It has SPF in it, which I love. And there you go, it's just a little lippy, all right? Oh, that's pretty. And it's just a little flush of color for your lips, perfect. I love that. Um, I use the Sugar Fresh brand, um, and I, I almost through my very last one that I have. So I thought that would be great. You know, that stuff lasts forever. Okay, so here's our little booklet for our summer box, Gabby Douglas. And in here is all the information on everything in the box. So we are gonna go through this and I will let you know what I had to choose from and what I, what I picked. <laughs> Random items in the box, this is Discover, uh, discover your wine love. Uh, take the quiz, redeem your $50 credit at uh, brightsellers.com forward slash fab, fab summer. Okay, there you go. I don't drink any kind of alcohol. So, and then there's usually a green chef discount code or some sort of um, meal planning, meal company discount code in the box always. All right, I am so excited to see what else is in here. A lot of the stuff I did get to pick as a select member, you do get to pick. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, all members could pick from any of these items. So you could choose the Draper James Straw Bag Pottery Barn Mason Ceramics Diffuser in Solstice, uh, Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream, the L Space Tie Dye Towel, the Yummy Kim Wireless Charging Pad, and the Lash MD Eyelash Conditioner. So there you go. That Lash MD, that was an additional choice. So I paid to get that choice. So I'm glad to, I'm glad I, I didn't remember that. But that's what I did because I wanted to try the Lash MD. The choice I made for this one was the Mason Holmes Accent Collection uh, Diffuser in Solstice. I love diffusers. I really, really love them. I'm going to quickly open this. You're going to see me cut real quick because you don't want to listen to all that noise. All right. So here we go. It smells good. Already smells good. Maybe it's just the paper. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, it's right here on top. Let me let me get this before I drop it. All right. I like that it's plastic. Um, that'll be nice. Uh, I have cats, so. This is very well packaged. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. This definitely matches the color tone in my the colors in my house. This is a ceramic. This is gorgeous. This is a $59 value. Wrap yourself in the scents of bergamot, geranium, and vetiver. Okay. Let me open this and we'll smell it together because I'm just going to go put this right out in my living room somewhere, bedroom somewhere. Very subtle. Yeah, just a subtle, sweet ish scent. That's nice. It's really nice. You just pour it in here. So the fact that I said this was plastic was really ridiculous. You pour it in here. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's nice. That's very nice. I chose the R & Co Shampoo and Conditioner. The Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner, a $64 value. Uh, Achieve Camera Ready Hair. This duo softens and strengthens hair while adding body and shine. So there you go. Um, I will definitely use these. Oh, they're probably sealed. Yeah, they're sealed. Um, my two favorite shampoo and conditioners are always linked in the description box. <sighs> neither are inexpensive and apparently neither is this. So I do have a drugstore brand that I'm, I'm pretty fond of. So don't let my hair today be the judge of that. <laughs> so there we go. All right, excellent. That's nice. 
All right, um, this I'm excited about. This is the Sponge Gel Hand Cream. I have a Sponge Gel Body Lotion that I actually really like. This is the Coconut Verbena, and this is $18. Um, I like this type of thing for travel. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Um, my hand cream over here is almost out. Oh, that's really nice. It's subtle. I smell the coconut. I don't really smell the lemon. Yeah, I just smell the coconut. Nice. That's really, really nice. Good, good, good. Okay, the next item in here is the Winky Lux. Oh, this is the eyebrow pencil. Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Brow uh, Eyebrow Pencil. What is this shade? It's got a spoolie on the end. Pretty little. I'm not real picky about my eyebrow pro. Ooh, that's really dark. I don't know that that's universal. I mean, that's really, really dark. I'm gonna go ahead and test it on my hand. My daughter-in-law has much darker hair than me. Oh, it's not that dark. That's a taupe color. It's, it's a brownish taupe. It's a little more warm than cool. This will work. I'll be able to use that. Excellent. Perfect. I really like that. Okay, what is this? Oh, oh yes. This is the ice roller. Now, I do have a facial roller that I really enjoy. I thought an ice roller might really be nice, especially when you have a headache. Oh, do you freeze this? Uh, enjoy the benefits of cold therapy with this extremely convenient tool by Zoe I Ayla. <laughs> Gets rid of puffy eyes, redness, tightness, and rejuvenates the skin. Leave your ice roller in the freezer for four more hours before use. Roll it over your face and neck daily for visible improvement. Look, just, I gotta tell you, any kind of roller like this feels so nice when you have a headache or tension in your jaw. If you're like me, I carry a lot of my tension in my jaw and in my shoulders. And even though this says for your face, you can just right up here in your shoulders, right here in your jaw. You have teeth grind, you grind your teeth? Oh, I do. All right, it feels so nice. All right, now I gotta clean that. Anyway, but yeah, I'm very happy to have that because my little jade roller, Boy, I use the heck out of that thing and not for the beauty benefits of the serum. It's because it feels good. I mean, I use it for my serums, but it just really feels good. So excellent, I'm happy to have that. This is a foot cream, Sicilian blood oranges. I just ordered a, a salicylic acid foot cream. Excellent, this is um, Cali Cosmetics foot cream with menthol in Taroco, Tar Taraco. Uh, a combination of menthol and olive oil helps heal, hydrate the feet. Perfect. I mean, it's a foot cream. Oh, that smells nice. It's just, I don't know what it smells like, but it smells nice. Nice. I don't smell menthol. It just smells nice. Pleasant. And the Amica Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray is, I think, the last item in here. Yep, that's my last item. And this was a FabFitFun pick for me. I think, I don't think I picked this. No, I must have picked this. Okay. Um, Amika Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray. Give your hair incredible volume, texture, and body with this lightweight spray. Well, I don't need volume. So I will pass this on. But um, there you go. I know I would not have picked this. So this has got to be a FabFitFun pick because... I would not have picked a volumizing hairspray. I can guarantee that. So there you go. All right, I do have the Dry Bar Prep Rally Prep and Prime Detangler, so maybe that's why they sent me this hair product that came in another one of my Fat Fit Fun boxes. Okay, well, that's a great value. Excellent. So there you go. I mean, whoo, so many things. So many things, great little box, few add-ons. I love this box. This one in Cause Box, they're my favorite. Um, I will leave them linked. I will leave it linked for you in the description box if you're interested. Um, I won't give you any spoilers on um, the items you can pick in case you'd like to be completely surprised. I know some people do. There's a lot of joy in the fact that they don't want to know what they get, so it's a lot of joy in it for them. Um, and there you go. All right. I only have two subscription boxes left like this that I actually have kept in my slew of subscription boxes. It is this one, FabFitFun, and um, Cosbox. 
And uh, if you have this FabFitFun box, then you are able to use get the style box, the FabFitFun style box, which is a clothing subscription box. This little shirt came from that. Um, I really, really, really enjoy my FabFitFun style box. I really do. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's always unique and different and a little different than what you get in all the other subscription boxes. It's not always 100% a hit, but when it's good, it's real good. So it's got a $20 styling fee. It's really, really good. And unfortunately, the only way that you can get that box is if you get this box. So there you go. Okay, now we're gonna zip on over to the regular old vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button before you go, and uh, click the notification bell if you'd like to know when we upload more content. And it's pretty much every other day here around here, especially during this uh, stay at home time while we're not traveling. But we do have cruises coming up provided we get to travel this year. The first one is in August, so we will see. We will see how that goes. And uh, all of our cruises that were canceled this year have been pushed to you know, late summer into fall. So we're gonna have a lot of cruises kind of back to back to back to back. So get ready, lots of travel is coming up. All right, on to the weekly vlog. Thank you. Good morning. Do you ever get sucked in watching an infomercial? salmon with a golden crust. I, I want crispy chicken. I can air fry 40 eggs and the shells will slide right off. I think I might need this thing. I mean, they're making it impossible for me not to have to need it, right? Oh my goodness. the 24th of May, 77 degrees outside. We made healthy snacks. Come on, it's a five in one. How can I not have it? <laughs> wow. Well, the dog's collars were drying and the vacuum hose was drying. And it's raining. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to um, take care of that. Mm, hang on. Okay, well, it stopped. Rob texted. It's just a brief shower, but we do have an 80% chance of this all day long today, which I don't think I realized. So, I mean, I knew it was gonna rain, but I don't think I realized it was that high of a chance. Oh my goodness, my grass needs to be mowed. And when I speak to you today with my fogged over screen, one will likely be outside because the inside of my house is torn up. I have ripped apart the couches in my house <laughs> to wash all of their cushions, and I was just about to bring the cushions out to let them sit in the sun. <laughs> For a little while you know the bare cushions underneath the covering well that's not gonna happen so oh well dang it so uh, I'm gonna grab the vacuum hose and pull it up under here so it'll still dry Wow it it rains so much it's like wet down anyway oh well all right let me get this stuff in need to take that back in. I still have not washed or scrubbed that, but I washed the dog's collars. I was gonna get them new ones, but I decided to just go ahead and wash them. We'll get them new ones, um, I don't know, soon. Oh, man. But I'm getting ready to kick this on, make sure everything's in working order, because tomorrow, woo, we're gonna have steaks. I'm gonna take it a minute. To... So we got 0.11 tenth of an inch of rain. Nice. It's the indoor temperature and 79% humidity. It's gotta be more than that. Feels like 95, yup. And it's 59% 59 chance of rain. It's 88 degrees according to the weather center. 
but to our thermometer, seven mile per hour winds, four per hour sustained. So there you go. Alrighty, you guys, I love this thing. I really, really love this thing. Um, I'm pleased with it. I know our winds, our wind station's not in the best spot, but um, I think it does all right where it is. It does okay. Okay, so I'm still in process of disassembling. My living room's in shambles over there. Anyway, um, it's taking forever for the couch cushions to dry. Rob's looking at me with a funny look. Oh, just about to call an order. oh, he's about to make a phone call. So give me one second, then we're going to talk about what I'm about to make. Okay, so we're going to make four ingredient, no bake, chocolate coconut crack bars. As you guys know, I've not been a fan of coconut. My whole life I have not liked coconut. In the last year, I've started to like coconut. Don't know what the problem is. Don't know what happened. So let me throw my hair up real quick and we're gonna make these. It's just four ingredients. It is shredded coconut, coconut oil, monk fruit sweetened maple syrup. And I may have cut it, but I'm trying to use that up. I did buy some a long time ago. And uh, chocolate chips. And I have, there we go. I have two types of chocolate. So I have these Lily's bars that I've had since we went to Pensacola last year. I just don't eat them. I told you I'm not a chocolate girl. I'm a cakes, cookies, things like that kind of girl. And I have two bags of Lily's chocolate. So he doesn't really specify. He says chocolate chips of choice and C notes. And he talks about different ways that he can, he uses, has used coconut oil, co cocoa powder, and something else, a sweetener to make his own chocolate coating, which I thought was interesting. I actually, I will try that at some point, not today. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these bars very quickly, they're no bake, and I'm anxious, sorry, anxious to try them, but I am not going to make the full size. I am just going to make a half portion because and I, one, don't have an eight by 10 pan, or I, well, I do, and two, don't wanna make that many, because as I've told you, if I have too much in the house, <gasps> Rob just did it, <laughs> I will eat it all. Okay, so, parchment paper and set aside in a large mixing bowl, add all your ingredients, mix very well, pour batter into the lined pan, lightly wet your hands and press firmly to place, place in fridge or freezer to firm up. Once firm, remove and cut into bars, place in the refrigerator. Melt your chocolate chips of choice and individually dip each chocolate bar, each coconut bar in the melted chocolate until coated evenly. Repeat until all bars are evenly coated. Refrigerate until chocolate firms up to enjoy. Perfect, so we're gonna do that. And um, I also would like to make some uh, keto butter crackers. So we're gonna do all that today. We have all this cheese in the house. I'd like some crackers. I'd like some snack bars. Tomorrow is Memorial Day, and um, I don't know if this is going to be all in one vlog. It may be, just, I, you know, because I think I've got enough vlogs in succession. I'd, I'd like to kind of get them moving again. So I want to make strawberry shortcake tomorrow. I do have the strawberries for that, and um, I want to make these soft pretzels, and we're going to have steak. Um, we're gonna cook out on the grill, we're gonna have steak, and we're going to, um, I don't know, some side of some sort, that kind of thing. So that's what's tomorrow. And uh, all right, so let me get started on this. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the fridge to firm up, and I'm gonna move on to the butter crackers. the crackers so we're going to let them cool and uh, then we'll break them up and give them a try 
I did sprinkle salt on them before I put them in the oven. My camera cut out before you could see that, so, but I did do it. Okay, so the crackers are delicious. They're fantastic. They are buttery. They have saltiness to them. They, they're on the cusp of tasting like a Ritz cracker. Robbie tried them. He said they were pretty good. I can tell you, the lighter, you want this color. You don't want, not this color. You want, or the dark brown color here. You want the light brown color, not necessarily the white color. So I'm just gonna have to practice with them. You saw me put them in the little storage container. I will have some with cheese and crackers and meats and sorts, all sorts of stuff. These were very difficult. <laughs> so I have a Reese's peanut butter cup mold and that's what I'm gonna put these in next time. Next time I will drizzle a little bit of chocolate in the bottom of the mold, just a little bit. I will squish down the um, coconut mixture and then I will put chocolate on the top that will be considerably easier than what I just did. So that's gonna be next. I'm gonna try this very quickly. It's not pretty. I mean, it was, I, I don't know how he made his so beautiful. Maybe he's a confectioner, confectioner, confection, whatever, but I'm not. I'm glad I made a half batch. I will finish these. There's too much coconut oil in them. Too much coconut oil. I have to find a new recipe. Maybe just the chocolate. I don't know, there's a couple of different versions of this type of thing out there. This one's not it for me. But if this is something you think you might enjoy, put it in a mold, a candy mold. Don't do it the way he suggested because I think you need to be a candy expert in order to make it work out. Mommy finally reassembled the couch. <gasps> Did you find a snuggle spot? Did you find one? I, the cap, the cover, <laughs> the towels are on there because the, it's still a little damp. You, I can't dry the cushions completely because the cushion covers completely because then you can't get them back on. <laughs> so you have to leave them a little damp anyway. Did you find a snuggle spot? All the feathers are still everywhere, aren't they? Don't, it, it's your brother. It's your brother. Yep, mommy rinsed you out. Mommy rinsed the, the soap out of you, but it's still, we're gonna have to give you another bath. <gasps> Little dog. And then who's your friend up here? Waka. <laughs> You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Hi, Miss Green Eyes. Are you Molly's twin sister? Are you Molly's twin sister? Yes. Yes. And then Jojo, where are you? Were you in the kitchen with mommy? You were, you're so handsome. Look how handsome I am. I'm such a good boy when they groom me. I just let them do it. I'm just such a good boy. I'm so shiny and soft. And mommy and Daddy brushed me again today. It was so nice. I thus wiped it with my jowls. With my jowls. Did you have to come over here? Hmm? Kisses? And Jojo kisses? Oh, what's that snow? What's that snow right there? That snow. That's my baby. That's my baby. You smell so nice. Do you smell so nice, huh? Yes, it smells so nice. Oh, hello. Coming in. You coming in for some love, huh? What do you want? What do you want? Sissy, oh, sissy, sissy, leave brother alone, no. Joe, say sissy, don't wick me, I don't like it. Anyway, their collars are still drying. Um, she's still fluffy here. I've, we've rinsed her a couple of times, but uh, we're gonna give her a full bath next weekend. It's just, it's raining, so we don't wanna bathe her again. But um, anyway, it is a lot of work. We brush them all the time, but there's a difference between grooming them and brushing them. 
so um, we pull out the undercoat and all of that stuff and we do it more often than we talk about on here but um, in the summer after the spring is the biggest one because their undercoats are coming out from winter and it's just oh my gosh it's so much it's seven to ten days of grooming and we have to constantly brush out the undercoat and I mean that's why the vacuum hose is out there because it got clogged up it, anyway so this should be the last one Addie will have another bath next week um, and uh, Jojo will have another bath next week little dog probably won't I don't like to bathe him too much his skin gets too dry and I have to be careful with Jojo because he has very sensitive easily aggravated constantly itchy skin so Judge up, I and mean, he's licking now. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, but I'm um, glad it's done, and uh, the couch is all clean. I'm glad that's done, and um, I'll be steam cleaning the carpets coming up here this week. We have three carpets in the house. They're not attached. They're rugs. Um, and then uh, whew, we've got bad weather. Anyway. So all I did was my eye makeup today. I didn't, I just put on a little powder on my face and it's very oily because my skin is oily. I don't, I didn't put a primer on or anything. I just slept on a little powder. Anyway, um, it's probably what I'll do tomorrow. So, all right, well that's it for today. Tomorrow, again, these are my goals. The soft pretzels and the corn dogs. We're gonna make some steaks. That's what those are. I'm getting ready to put them in the fridge to defrost overnight and um, a strawberry shortcake tomorrow. And what else? Something to go with the steaks. I don't know what. I'll probably just have a vegetable since they have all this other stuff. And um, the guys will probably have some tater tots or something to that effect, something like that. Um, they don't really eat. Chandler loves strawberry shortcake, but Rob does not. So I'll probably just have him grab some ice cream or something from the store so he has a fun dessert for tomorrow. Maybe um, an ice cream sundae. He likes to put like the cherries and the whipped topping. So maybe that. All right, see you in the morning.